Hello, welcome to this class or this lecture which is going to describe about the cloud types and the cloud rain bearing clouds. This is in continuation of our previous lecture how the rainfall is important and how the forecast is given over there. What are the clouds? Clouds are nothing but large collection of tiny droplets of water that are small and light. These billions of droplets come together to form a visible clouds that is what you are able to see it on the horizon. Now, when, when you say rainfall, rainfall may be a showers, showers begin as well as end suddenly, it is a short lived from the cumulus clouds. What is a rain? Rain is nothing but a steady, steadier one and falls from the stratiform clouds. Then what is a drizzle? Drizzle is nothing but a uniformly uniform precipitation and having very small water droplets. Then what then other activities are convection clouds, orographic clouds, frontal rainfall as well as monsoon rainfall. These are all the things which happens depending upon the cloud formations. Now let us see what are the different type of clouds which we will be able to see it on the horizon. The, the clouds, the entire clouds as you could see from this picture is clouds are there, the atmosphere is it is about 10, 11 kilometers from the earth surface, from the earth means sea level surface. The clouds are classified depending upon the height from the surface, they are called high level clouds which occurs between 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers above the earth surface. Medium level clouds it is 2 to 7 kilometers height, low level clouds this is 0 to 2 kilometer in height and there are clouds which can extend 0 to 13 kilometers in a vertical mode. These are all the possible classifications which are being used. Now they are called some of them the lowermost clouds they are called as status clouds. These status clouds are nothing but a flat bottom clouds whereas the cumulus clouds are those clouds which you have the buff up on the surface. Then whereas the cirrus clouds are some of the fragmented portion of the clouds that is what we call it as cirrus clouds, cumulus clouds and the status clouds depending upon the appearance on the horizon. In between nimbostratus then alto is about the height related and these clouds when you see this is one full formation of a cloud whereas these clouds are part and parcel of this particular weather system. So these clouds they also indicate what is the major weather system which is happening or shaping up in this area. Now let us see one by one different clouds. This cloud what you try you are able to see is zero cumulus clouds. It shows large characteristics of ice crystals present in them but the probability of a rainfall is no precipitation from these type of clouds. If you see it on your horizon for your experience you can see it and then record it. Another type of cloud is the cirrus clouds. This cirrus clouds what you see here it do not give any precipitation. Now the next one this is the cumulolimbus clouds. If you observe a cloud like this then there is a probability of a shower or a snow is assured, right. Second thing is whether it happens throughout, it may happen throughout the cloud spread or it may happen in one or two places in this area. That is the next process which you need to understand in detail, but not, not from this lecture. Whereas the another cloud is the cumulus cloud, this is a low altitude cloud that means it will be there up to. 3 kilometers from the earth surface. The probability of a rain or a shower is 
possible from these clouds. If it is, if you see it on your area, then there is a probability of a rain or a shower is possible. Now, another cloud is alto stratus. Here also there is a rain or snow is possible depending upon the geographical location. Then the alto cumulus clouds may produce light showers which you see the appearances like this. So, this slide shows about the different clouds which you can observe it on the horizon and you can infer whether there is a probability of a rainfall or not no probability of a rainfall could be assessed by yourself. What we have seen in the previous slides are how the clouds look like and where they are, whether they are in the lowermost portion or middle portion or in the upper portion of the troposphere. And what is the probability if I see a cloud like cumulonimbus cloud, a cloud like this over my place, what is the probability of precipitation? So, here the precipitation is very high. So, this is how you can assess yourself whether there is going to be rain tomorrow or today in some part of the areas and whether to or and start a pump or not. This type of decisions can be made by yourself by see observing the clouds every day before you initiate your agriculture activities. That is the one that is why this type of information was briefed before you. Now, thank you and how you use it in the forthcoming water assessment will be seen in the next lecture. Thank you.